this movie. I mean, very admirable, but also very intense. Why put it out there? Because it, it's, it's, it's a tough watch, but it's an important watch. Exactly. Well, you just said it right there. It's very important. I think in our everyday life, you know, you'll see on the, on the news or in the newspaper something happening to a soldier here or there, and then, you know, you kind of go on with your day. And, uh, you know, these guys are out there providing our freedom every single day and this is a really important story and, and it is a tribute to them and it's a tribute to anybody who's ever signed up and defended our country. Don't you find it kind of weird that a lot of people don't realize that the war is still going on and that soldiers die every day but they don't make the headlines? It's crazy, you know, uh, got a lot of twerking in the headlines but <laughs> you, know, got, you know, got guys defending our, and women defending our great nation and that, that's certainly a shame. I mean, I'm so against war, period, but I am definitely pro-soldier. Um, but it is what it is. That's the day and age that we live now. And it's, it's also important to understand that there, there, there's such acts, beautiful acts of compassion and humanity in this movie that I think will surprise people. And, and to understand that we're not at war with Afghanistan. We're, we're at war with the Taliban. And the Afghan people are suffering over there, too. And, uh, and one of the most amazing acts of heroism ever uh, is performed by an Afghan village to save a stranger, uh, to save one of our own. And, uh, and that story needs to be told. I think that's the most important thing. We are not at war with Afghanistan. So, I mean, and I think a lot of people make that mistake. Yeah. Now, have you actually been to Afghanistan? Did you go to kind of check out the terrain, the country, I went, see what the I, culture's like? I went, uh, yeah, I went a couple of years ago, not in preparation for this movie, just to go over and, and, and just give my thanks and gratitude to the soldiers. I actually went to three different bases. I uh, flew over to uh, Cabal Commercial. Went over there and showed a bunch of people the fighter and, and met with some amazing people, both Afghan and, and Americans. What's the thing that stuck with you most from your experience over there? Uh, just the conditions that the people are living in, you know. Um, and now, Muhammad Gulab is here in America and living in Los Angeles. He came to New York City and, you know, it's amazing to see him looking at how fortunate we are and how lucky we are, but also, you know, how unfortunate a lot of his people are. But they have such a great pride. Uh, and really amazing people. Was there ever a point in your life where you actually thought about going to the military? Yes, it was actually uh, when I was 17. I was in quite a bit of trouble, and my, my brother was married at the time. My oldest brother, Arthur, was married at the time, and uh, his father-in-law was the gunnery sergeant in the Marines, and he helped me. Uh, he came and bailed me out, and I stayed with him for quite some time, so I was out of my neighborhood, and and the environment where I was most susceptible to getting into more trouble. And then he tried to get me, he took me to the recruiting office with Marines, and I wasn't able to join because I didn't have a diploma. Fantastic. Thanks a, lot. a very different life for me. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Thank you.